Hello, I'm Jane Jackson, career management coach and author of number one Amazon Australia careers bestseller, Navigating Career Crossroads. This podcast is all about careers. And today we're talking about, are you too old to be hired? How to get back to work after retirement. Many of us dream of retirement when we're getting up at the crack of dawn, battling with other commuters at work, dealing with office politics, working long hours and carrying a heavy workload. When the time for retirement comes, it's a welcome break after years of working, saving and planning for the future. However, for some of us, retirement isn't as enjoyable as it's supposed to be. Perhaps we're bored and miss the regularity and camaraderie of being in the workforce and the thrill of a challenge. Or perhaps we miss the status of having a job title or the opportunity to mentor younger team members. Or perhaps our financial situation has changed and due to economic necessity, we have to go back to work. Change can be pretty scary. It can leave us feeling confused, anxious, fearful, and stressed. We can find ourselves on an emotional roller coaster and it erodes our self confidence. We feel a bit dizzy and confused about what to do next. Unfortunately, finding a new job can be a challenge. And when we're older, with more degree qualified youngsters entering the job market, other baby boomers taking longer and longer to retire, and so many jobs being outsourced offshore and companies downsizing, resulting in many redundancies tendencies and fewer opportunities. Couple that with a lack of confidence and clarity about what to do next and the situation can become very stressful. No matter how good or how bad things are right now, nothing endures but change. Now people have been coping with change for thousands of years, but it doesn't make it any easier when it happens to us. So what can we do? Now, I'm a career management coach who has coached over a thousand clients through their career and life transitions, and I've found that many feel the same anxiety. And here's what two of my clients have felt and told me when going through their career change. One said, suddenly I had no clear plan or identity. My networks outside of my industry were weak and I had no real idea of what I wanted to do next. I went at speed from being an important person to an unemployed person. I lost the things that I thought defined me, the status, the car, the income, and like many people, I was wandering in the mist a bit. Another client said, Going through a redundancy after 35 years in a stable government job and facing the incredible unknown for which I was ill-prepared left me at a complete loss. The fact that I was unemployed at the age of 52, I felt like an old man in the eyes of younger employees. I felt panic. The most important thing if you're returning to the workforce after a period in retirement or even just a period away is to be clear about what you can and want to do. Here are seven steps to follow before re-entering the job market. First of all, build your confidence by sharing your concerns with trusted friends or family who are well connected in your areas of interest or by gaining an honest, informed perspective from a career coach. Two, identify what you can do and the skills that you have that are transferable into a new role. Think about what you'd like to do next and find out what skills you need to upgrade. Get up to speed with new technology required for the roles you want to target so you won't be perceived as a dinosaur. Three, update your resume with tangible accomplishments to prove that you are a professional who will add value to any organization. Four, the way you look matters, and unfortunately, people will pass judgment on whether your age will affect your ability to do a good job. Update your look. Be aware that your posture is the key to making you look younger or older. Keep physically fit so you have a spring in your step. Five, learn about the new job search strategies. Many roles are advertised online and according to a 2014 JobVite survey, 93% of recruiters now use LinkedIn.com to source for candidates. Create a strong online profile on LinkedIn so you can be found. Six, practice your interview technique to answer confidently when asked, why should we hire you and prepare specific examples to demonstrate your capabilities? Seven, be flexible and realistic with your salary expectations. Check current salary surveys to research the market rate for any role you target. If you have the financial resources, you could consider self-employment. Do you have skills that would make you a valued consultant or business owner? 
Self-employment could mean setting up a consultancy, buying a franchise, buying an existing business, or setting up your own business. In order to be successful in self-employment, conduct a reality check first. Plan in advance and do your research before launching into anything new. Here's an excellent website for solo entrepreneurs. It's called flyingsolo.com.au where you'll find information on setting up a business. There are many options to those thinking about going back into the workforce after retirement. It takes courage, a positive attitude, and a willingness to learn. What will you do? I'm Jane Jackson, career management coach and author of Navigating Career Crossroads. If you want to find out more, go to navigatingcareercrossroads.com or directly to my website, janejacksoncoach.com. See you next time.